Each time I die like that, I come back stronger. <coughs> Slain by the Minotaur once more. Now he's a real beast there, isn't he? Nope, none whatsoever. Oh. Surprise, Hypnos. I got you this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't bring that in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks. But wait, I'll trade you. Look. Cheers, Hypnos. Ought to spend some of these gems with the house contractor. Megarod tells me that you surpassed her while out there. How utterly embarrassing for her, to say the least. I suppose you're going to punish her in some cruel fashion then? Oh, I've already seen to that, of course. You think she volunteered to deal with you? Nobody did. That's how ignoble a task it is. That's strangely comforting to know. Hello. This isn't a good expenditure of resources, then I don't know what is. Go practice your declaiming someplace else. This looks to be an excellent investment contractor. Go on and make it so. It's awfully quiet here, you know, when you're out and about. Makes me a bit self-conscious, truth be told. Seeing as ostensibly I'm the musician of this court. Look, if you decide to start strumming on that lyre again, I'm sure nobody here is going to mind. Though, you take care, okay? If you insist, my friend. And after that, do so, you are to clean the rafters once again and prune the gardens thoroughly. By then it should be time to tend the kitchens and sweep the lounging area a second time. Yes, right away. Poor Dusa. Meg must have gone back already. Congratulations, wretched broker. <laughs> What's new? has been fulfilled. Nice to have my ancient legendary weapons there. Check your stash of weapons over there. So the strangest thing happened while you were out, boy, yo. Uh, one of your weapon holder things back there, it picked up this eerie glow. C could see it from the corner of my eye. Calm down, Skelly. I'm sure whatever it is, is perfectly normal for a legendary semi-sentient titan slaying weapon from the dawn of time. That's just it. Those weapons of yours, they have seen some real business, pal. You're giving them a real workout, so maybe they're starting to like you or something. I should go check it out. Gods. A 
What's that one do? My shield. Care for a warm up with that? What in blazes? Aegis, you were as old as time. Twin fists of Malfon. Our strength combined surely cannot be stopped. Ready, Malfon? Yeah, put up your dukes. Grant me the aspect of Talos. You are right back there, pal. My aspect of Malfon grows stronger still. Be right back. Let me see into your past. Talos. All right, I'm ready. You caught that again? Darkness, give me strength. What shall we do here once you finally arrive? Perhaps we could go out and meet some mortals. There felt different than before. Hit me. I sensed a certain rumbling here within the bowels of the earth. It is as though it had ingested something that did not sit well.
left it. Aphrodite, am I right or am I? This goes. want me to choose. I very much appreciate it. Oh, come on, Zag, and here I thought that we were cool. <laughs> Don't take it personally, Dionysus. And to be honest, why I wasn't that mad to begin with. I <laughs> stronger.
time to face the Furies. Hello, Tisiphone. Um, how about no? No. to choose. Fidel Meadows. Here I am. You're gone. too quickly for you, boss? Well, Dionysus doesn't, as you're probably aware. Moving right along. Good to be back here. Make yourself at home. You know, I've never met a nymph before. You're closer to the gods than mortals, right? Yeah, gods that can die. How is that fair? It was just a stupid snake bite in my case. Can you imagine something more embarrassing? I know the feeling better than you might expect. Well, I was going to end up here sooner or later. Might as well while I'm still looking good. Though, I guess you do kind of get to lock in whatever age when you register. Bet everybody dying of old age pushed that one through. Oh. 
try this. Ooh, that's good. Thanks again. Come again. death. Elysium cousin, a significant way toward the surface, and if you on. Next island. Olympus, I accept this message. Traverse the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point. Relentless Zagreus must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. A 
Another new look for you, I see, Bone Hydra. need these. to a new effect.
Champions of Elysium, now prove yourselves. Hi. Huh. You mean to fight with me barehanded this time, short one? Wouldn't say the twin fists of Malfon count as empty-handed, sir, though it surprises me to hear you could be beaten in such a way. I was hungry and unprepared. seen of you, either above it nor below. Interesting. That's a relief. something. Hello again. Thought I might find you all the way out here. Although, quite frankly, I'm surprised you're still alive. I can hold my own in case you haven't noticed then. I haven't, Zag. Now stand back and let me show you how it's done. They're coming, Zagreus. <laughs> 
the underground. I'll get right on it then. then, but I got you something. You want me to take that off your hands? Fine. But you are taking this from me. And if anybody asks, we're even. Or, or scratch that. Don't tell anyone about this. Understand? Thank you, Thad. I've got to hand it to you, Zag. You're easy to track down. The shades of Tartarus are beginning to fear you even more than your Lord Father. Oh, they won't fear me once they get to know me. I'm not so sure about that. Even I'm beginning to fear you, I think. Seems I don't know you as well as I thought.
shall regret this. cousin. versus the blessed bonds of brotherhood. That's not the little him, King. He is more powerful than he appears. Oh, I am perfectly alert right now, Asterius. And were I still alive, I would be positively salivating at the thought of running through this pustule with my spear. Oh. Now it is abundantly apparent that you are beneath me, fiend. entryway. 
some of those urns have coin in them, don't they? business. This one, I guess. Cerberus. The vast temple of Styx and its innumerable dangers now are all that separates the underworld prince from the land outside. I've almost made it. Data storage. In the name of Hades. Disgusting. 
disgusting. Cerberus will love it. <coughs> oh, what's in this stuff? Oh, Cerberus. Chow time, boy. Are you hungry? All right, boy. I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. I owe you one, boy. I did it. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. No, you're going home, not me. You must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the helm of darkness. <laughs> ought not meddle in others' affairs. You dare lash out against me like this boy. I do.
to have been brought this low. By my own ungrateful child. I would expect such treatment from my brothers, but from you... Uh, oh, this. you that I would, father. And I'm going to. Goodbye. Wait. Wait, just... If you... If you find her... If you somehow find her... Tell her something for me. Tell her... Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. I'll answer me one question, and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. There is no escape. Goodbye, father. Shudder. I made it. Beyond the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nyx. surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful.
thing. That's the sun. Is this a cat? Who's there? Um, hello? Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! No, so then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... you died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... now you're standing here before me. How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, gods. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. Mother. In short, I beat him, finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Uh, oh, it's... guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. Same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye, for now. My heart soars knowing you live. But then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nyx, Never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The stick shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please. Come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. However long it takes. <gasps> Can't hold on. Uh, mother, I have to get back there. It's finally returned. You are late, boy. Have you any idea what time it is? No. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? You can't be serious. You're going to pretend as though it never happened. She wants answers, same as I do. She demands you let me pass. Let me go to her again. Silence. This discussion is over. 
I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion then. Orpheus, forgive my bluntness here, but I have to ask. Why won't you sing? You were a legend, mate. Our court musician. Why, it's that I've lost my muse, my friend. It isn't harder to explain than that. I... I suppose I have, yeah. And I am truly happy for you, friend. Alas, I've had no luck in my own search. A child, your father fell to you as once his father fell to him. Although you were substantially more merciful. I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me, what transpired subsequently that you have returned? I did. I... she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but... I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but... I did not know. Or I did not wish to believe that the service would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he was smugly waiting for me up there and seemed quite healthy all in all. Though, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume. You are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again. As mortals do. Hi! Oh, um, so, hi, Prince, so... Oh, uh, drink sometimes sounds wonderful, do, sir. Maybe... It's no big deal. I mean... Do, sir? What's up for barter? I found her, sir. My mother, she's alive and well, and... Uh, but I just couldn't stay up there for very long. You really made it all the way? You must have gotten past your father that's amazing lad but wait what was she like what happened to you there she was she was great nothing like father more like you a little bit i guess though being on the surface it just seemed to suck the life right out of me even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in but then you had a little time at least sounds like you have unfinished business with her there it is i have to speak with her What's new? Here's the fee. Whew, it's a big job having to sweep up after Cerberus sheds everywhere. Blame yourself for that, not Cerberus. Contractor, I have another job. This ought to make the lounge a little more presentable. Until Cerberus wrecks it again. Finally, you cleared the mess you caused. I grant you funding and autonomy to do this job upon your earliest convenience, Contractor. So wasteful of my realm's resources, boy. Prophecy fulfilled. I broke free after all. Sort of. Not even tired, thanks.
all set. The exit. That's a pact of punishment on it. You're getting pretty strong, I'll give you that, boyo. Strong enough to smack a guy like me right up against the wall, and I'd go straight to pieces. Boom! Smack guys against walls. Sound advice as ever, mate. Looks like father's changed the terms of our relationship. isn't going to do me any favors here. Let's go with this one. Yeah, that one's pretty nice. 